In today's history lesson, we are going to be learning about River Niger. But first, how did we Africans get to know about River Niger? Let me hide here. You Jewish, I know. Sir, I don't really know who discovered uh, River Niger, especially the person's name or their names. But I'm sure it must have been one of our ancestors or maybe some of our African ancestors that discovered River Niger. Eat. <laughs> Stop and sit down, all of you. Why are you not clapping for him? His answer is completely wrong. How do you mean, sir? You mean River Niger was never discovered by an African man? Then who discovered River Niger, sir? Very good question. River Niger was discovered by a Scottish man in 1790 by a man named Mongo Park. It was never an African man. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. Yes, Jewish angle. Sir, what does the word discovery mean? Like, when someone is said to have discovered something, uh -huh. what does it mean exactly? Very good. When someone is said to be the first to discover a thing, uh -huh. it means that he is the first human in history to find that particular thing before anyone else. Wow, interesting. I love this one. Sir. And you said that this your Mongo Park is from which country again, sir? Mongo Park is from Scotland. Sir, this your Mongo Park, was he born in Africa? Of course not. Did he grow up in Africa? Not at all. So, he discovered River Niger, which is located in Africa, <laughs> from his village in Scotland? Of course not. So, how then did he discover River Niger? Because I'm, I'm confused. Very good. He came from Scotland to Africa in 1796 to discover River Niger for us. Wow, I love this one. Let's have it, let's have it. So he actually came to Africa to make his so-called uh, discovery. Exactly. Hey, by the time he came to Africa to make his so-called discovery of River Niger, there were no human beings living in Africa by that time. No, come on. Of course there were people living in Africa before he came to Africa. And all those indigenous African people that have been living eh? in Africa. What are you trying to say? Very close to the River Niger, way back uh -huh. before your Mongo Park now came to Africa. They were all blind to see River Niger until your Mongo Park now came all the way from Scotland and now came to Africa to now discover it for us. Jewish analogy, enough of this your nonsense question. Now let me ask you, are you the teacher here? Why am the teacher here? I'm living in your class. 